I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of elastic waist pants or elastic waist jeans to fit a 6 inch or 15 centimeter doll like the classic Briar Riders and many of your dollhouse dolls. Before we begin, please go to Shellywood.com to download this free printable sewing pattern. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Lay one pant leg on top of another, keeping what's called right sides together. That means the pretty side touches the pretty side. Stitch along the out seam like you see me doing here. Clip the out seam. Be very careful you don't want to cross over the thread. Follow these directions for both of your pant legs, so you'll have two. Open up the seam on each pant leg and press it. Of course, if children are working with the hot iron, they need adult supervision. Lay one pant leg on top of another, right sides facing, and stitch one crotch together. You're only going to do one crotch. Clip the crotch seam. Again, be very careful not to cross over the thread. Press the crotch seam open. Now your pants should look something like this. Create a casing at the waist by folding once and then a second fold that's deeper. If you look at the pattern, it gives you some guidelines for this. Stitch along the bottom of the casing either on your sewing machine or you can do it by hand. I'm using a whip stitch here. If you need help with the whip stitch, I have a tutorial for that. Look in the description below this video on YouTube. Measure your doll's waist for elastic and cut your elastic to fit the doll's waist. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic. Send this elastic through the casing. So you'll see me doing that here. It's a different pair of pants, but the same idea applies. Use straight pins to hold the elastic in place. Bring the two crotches together, keeping right sides together. Sew from the waistband to the base of the crotch. You can do this by hand or on a sewing machine, but when I'm working with very small doll clothes, I kind of like to sew by hand a lot. Clip this crotch seam just like you did the other crotch seam. Separate the pant legs to create a double fold hem by folding the end of one pant leg just once and then a second time. And once again, we're going to use the whip stitch to hem this one. Again, there's a link to my whip stitch tutorial in the description below this video on YouTube if you need a little help with the whip stitch. Sew the inseam from the hemmed pant leg, that's the hemmed one, across the crotch and then end your stitches right at the knee of the other leg. That's the knee of the unhemmed pant leg. So again, this is a different pair of pants, but you see me doing that there. Open up the unhemmed pant leg like that and create a double fold hem by folding once and then a second time. Now it's important to make sure the links match up. Whip stitch this hem just like you did the other one, but as you're working, I want you to keep checking to make sure they are the same length. Now you're ready to sew from the knee to the hem. 
Again, you can do this by hand or you can use your sewing machine. Clip the inseam. Invert the pants. I like to use a chopstick to help me, especially with really tiny doll clothes like this. Now you're ready to try the pants on your doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for doll clothes that fit dolls of many varieties, remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and free patterns, please share them on your favorite social media platforms. It really helps my website grow if you spread the word. Goodbye.